Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, I want to show you how we can use the roles and permissions. For example, here for to protect the post. Imagine we have here a blog website and I want, so I am as I am admin, I want to create a did and delete post. Also, I want the moderator, so the user who has their own moderator to create an edit and delete post. And then also the user who has their own writer can create a post. Now the user who has the role writer only can create. Also here I have created some uh, permissions. View post, create post, update post and delete post. And also the user who has the create post permission can create the post. Only can create the post. The user who has permission to update the post only can update the post. And the user who has deleted post can only delete the post. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have a WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Here we have now the admin, writer, a moderator and the user. The admin has the role admin. Let's go back. As the writer, the role writer, the moderator as the role moderator and the user has no roles. Okay. Now I want to protect the post using the policy. And if you go to the Laravel documentation authorization here, so on the security, we have authorization. Let's go to the generate policies and we can make a policy by running the PHP artisan make policy and give it a name. Also, we can add the model just by specifying here the dash dash model and give it a name. And because this is for posts, let's copy that and let's create the policy. So here I'm going to open the terminal and paste that in, hit enter and let's close. And now let's open the post policy. And here we have, we need to return a boolean and let's start with the create. So as I said, to create a post, I want the user who has the role admin, moderator, and the writer. And let's use that. Let's say return. Dollar sign. We have the user injected. So dollar sign user. If the user has a role, and we need to pass an array of roles, which are the admin, uh, moderator. and also the writer. And if that is, I'm going to say true like this, otherwise false. Okay, now let's work with that. So let's open the post controller <laughs> and we can on the create method, we can use that if you go here. So we can use with on the controller we have controller helpers and if I scroll down we have somewhere the controller helpers yeah so here we have the controller helpers we can say on the controller now on the method update for example at least authorize the name of the method and on the update we need to pass to inject the post or on the create we have here authorize the name which is the name of the policy create in this one and uh, passing here the model post model post class okay so here on the post controller now when we on the create method i'm going to say 
dollar sign of this. Authorize, pass in the name, create, and then the post class. Like this. Only this one now, and we protect the from create. And then the same I'm going to do for the store. Good. If I save now and let's navigate here and refresh, we are as admin. And if I go to the post, new post, yeah. And this is the first, let's say, second post. Let's say create. Good. Also, I can edit and I can delete this. Good. Now let's log out and let's log in with the moderator. Okay, let's navigate to the post. We are as moderator and if I go to the new post, okay, edit, good. Now if we go to the users and the moderator now, and let's say I want to change to remove the role moderator from moderator is say update. Good, we don't have any role. Now if I go to the post and let's say I want to create new post, yeah, we have 403. Okay, let's go back to the users and change the role. Good. Now let's do the same for the update. So for the update, I want to do the same thing we have here, but just accept we don't need the writer to edit and delete. So let's Copy this and paste it here. For the update, only the user who has a role admin or moderator can do that. And for the delete, the same thing. Now let's go to the post controller and I'm going to do, let's copy this on the edit, paste that in, change the method name to be update. And here we need to inject the post dollar sign post. And let's copy that and paste it here as well. And on the destroy, change the name for the destroy to be delete. Let's save and let's navigate here now on the post controller. Let's go and log out and log in as a writer now. writer example.com and pass in here the password let's navigate to the post and as a writer you can write a new post so let's say a post from writer go create that good but if i want to edit this yeah we have 403 and also the same thing if i want to delete 403 Okay, now, as I said, I created the permissions. So for example, the user who has the create post can create the post, update post can update the post and delete post can delete the post. If we go to the roles and let's navigate to the admin role, I added all the permissions to this admin. And also let's go to the moderator, the same. Let's go to the writer. And here we don't have any permissions. Now, instead of using roles here, we can use the uh, permissions and let's go here. Okay. And let's go to the direct permissions. And we can check if the user has permission to edit the article right now, the user Let's go to the user uh, writer has only the role writer, not permissions. And let's use now permissions to protect the boss. Here, when you have create, instead of saying as role, we can say as permission. 
and the name has permission to other day. Let's pass here now on that one. The method has permission to create the post. And if I save now, let's go to the post and let's refresh and let's say new post. We have 403 because we don't have that permission. Now let's go to the users and one more time on the writer. We have the writer role, not permissions. If I add here create post, so the, the user now, if I refresh, has this permission. And let's see on the post now, if I say new post, yeah, we can navigate there. Also, if I go here, the writer, and enter remove this permission. But on the roles writer, let's go to the role writer role. I want to add the permission create post. If I say update, now this permission, uh, this role has this permission and the user writer has that role which has their permission create post. If I go to the post and let's say new post, yeah, we can create a new post and I think it's more a uh, good idea to use permissions. We just can say create posts and we can add permissions to the roles or, or just to the user directly. So for example, we have this user who has no role, but if I add create post to that user and let's log out and log in with the user. So let's say here, user example.com at the password, go here. Okay, now let's go here and let's say we are logged in as a user who has only the writer, only the create post permission. If I go to the new post, we can create that. Okay, friends, and the same we can do with the update. So let's just copy this, paste here and change now the name to update post and the same on the delete, paste that in and say delete post. Okay, let's save and let's now We are as a user. I want to delete this. Yeah, we have 403. Okay, friends. This is about this video. I hope you enjoy.